All right, IED, let's make the uh, pin cartridge holder for the carabiner pin assembly for 3D design. Uh, here's what we're going to do. It, you know, whenever we look at the assembly, it looks like it holds together four pins, uh, and it holds them in line, and it keeps the spring from falling out. So here's how we're going to do this. Um, it's really straightforward. It shouldn't be too terribly bad. Uh, we're going to go into sketch mode, and we're going to click on the top. And I'm just going to go ahead and focus it on the center. And I'm going to make a circle that has a diameter of 0 0.540 inches. And then that'll be our start. We'll finish our sketch here. And I'm going to go out and hit the extrude button. I'm going to hit extrude. Uh, and it's going to go out. And we want it to go out with a thickness of 0.3 inches. Looks about like that. Okay, now um, it's also got some like notches in the side and um, some s four circles that go through uh, at equidistant spots in the middle of the circle itself. So we're going to need to get an idea for where those actually go into place and we can actually use some constraints to be able to get that to work out. So let's deal with the notches first. I'm going to go in the top view and we're going to just create a sketch. We're going to create a sketch on the very top. And what we need to do is we're just going to create a notch. So I'm going to create a line starting at the uh, y-axis. And I'm just going to pick a place. It doesn't really, you know, we're just reverse engineering this. So it doesn't make a huge difference where we put the notches. So I'm just going to click a line that goes out to uh, this side. And then we're going to make the same thing happen on the other side. So we're going to try to get this to move to the same spot. So if I were to just move this over, now see, like what I normally do is I move the mouse over and then I start moving left and you're gonna get these like tick marks. Let me zoom in a little bit further. So we're gonna get these tick marks that go across and eventually you'll make it to where you get over to the other side. So I'm gonna go click and then I'm going to move this over to where it intercepts over here. And now these two should be in the right spot. Now, we want to be able to um, cut this out. So what you can do is just add another part for a region. Since this is a circle, I'm gonna just like connect it with two lines. It's gonna be the easiest for me. And I'm gonna finish this sketch and it should make a closed region right here. We're gonna go to extrude and then I'm just gonna cut this area out. So I can click remove and I can remove this area away from the object itself. And what it should do is it should just make a notch out of it. Let's see if we can get it to do that. There it goes. <coughs> and it goes all the way through, excuse me. And we have one notch through it. So to actually get this to go all the way around, we're gonna use the circular pattern tool. I'm gonna click circular pattern, make sure that it goes to feature pattern. And you wanna get this feature to go around this axis and we want to do it four times so i'm going to click the green check mark and it looks good all right now we got to worry about these uh circles that go uh in equidistant spots on each side now i know that this circle is um 0.125 in diameter so i'm going to go to sketch mode and i'm just going to click on the surface so that i can get a sketch going and i'm going to create a circle and i'm going to make sure that that circle is uh, 0.125 inches in diameter. Okay, so from there, we can either use the circular pattern tool, or we can, or sorry, we can use the uh, linear pattern tool, or we can create a series uh, of circles. But first of all, let's go ahead and try to find out exactly uh, where this square, or where this circle should be inside the square. And it looks like, or sorry, inside the container. And it looks like it's going to be like a tenth of an inch, 0.1 across in both directions. So here's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to say that we have, make a dimension line. Let's see if we can make a dimension from the axis. And we can. So I'm going to just type that in as 0.1. And then I'm going to type another dimension in from the x-axis. I'm going to make that 0.1 as well. There we go. Looks a little bit better now. Uh, so I'm going to use the linear pattern tool, and I'm going to try to get this to go across. Now, that's way too far away. Uh, the distance between them is going to be much, much smaller. So instead of being one, 
uh, we probably need to go see to the to the y-axis is 0.1 so we're probably going to need to go to 0.2 so I'm going to click on this I'm going to type in 0.2 yeah see how much smaller that gets we don't want it to be 3x we only want it to be 2x so it'll give us two circles and we're going to need to have there's an arrow that's a vertical arrow that goes down we're going to need to use that one as well too and as soon as I can find it with my eyes um, I'll be able to push down on it there it is look at it it's way up there Okay, so it's way up here. So I'm going to click down, and I'm going to make this 1x. I'm going to make it 2. And it definitely does not need to be 1 inch. It needs to be 0.2 inches. And there we go. So we now have four circles. Click the green check mark, and we should get four circles that go along with it. Now, we're going to hit uh, Extrude, and we're going to cut all four of those circles out, and we should be good to go. So I'm going to click uh, Remove, and then I'm going to click on each circle individually. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to, uh, let's see here, does it go all the way down? Uh, let's try it. I'm going to click the green check mark. Yep, there it goes all the way through. Okay, so this is the uh, cartridge holder, and this is in general what it looks like. Uh, in reality, it's black, so we can go over to the parts and hit edit appearance, and you can change it over to like a darker color. I probably wouldn't make it like flat out black but you know just make it some kind of dark color so that you can actually see it a little bit and there you go hope this was helpful and i'll talk to you guys later